Yogi Butara, Motu Moyara, we gon' party like. I finally decided to film fan account after 100 years. I'm gonna be talking about Big Bang's latest concert here in Honolulu, which happened last Saturday, um, October 22nd. Yep. I just think my makeup is kind of scary right now. It's because this was actually how my makeup my makeup looked like when we went to the concert. So I just did like a smoky eye kind of thing. I'll explain later. I'm gonna start with the prep. So, um, it took me four four days at least to well not like exactly four days, but it's more like spread around. To, to do pretty much like the signs, the cosplay stuff. We actually didn't decide to do the cosplay until after it was announced that Top was coming. So we thought, oh, maybe we should do Doom Dada because we already have a striped shirt, the red shirt. We already have like clothing. We don't need to buy anything other than the stuff for the props. So we decided to do that. We did the sign, which is this. I did this sign right here. So I did a, a microphone for Doom Dada. It's a bit crooked, but you know, good enough. Basically, use the sphere styrofoam, cut it in half, and then put like a cylinder styrofoam that's flat in the middle, just so it's not too like round and small. And then put glue on this, covered it in glitter, and then wrap it around. It took me like two and a half days at least, because. Uh, the base is actually a poster tube and I had to like fill it so it looks like this. So it has like newspaper inside and then I had to paint everything, cover it. I had to sew this so I have a strap on, on this side because I, I would have to wear it like this. The main part of our costume, our cosplaying, was this baby right here. It's actually a mask. So this part right here is um made of black too. I hand painted this. Uh, we were gonna buy a, a baby mask, but the thing is, like, we didn't realize the mask from Doom Dada was custom made. So I thought maybe I should just paint it. It's, it's like cheaper. It's more creative that way, I guess, because you don't really see a lot of like masks that are really big. So I did that. I actually worked on that day, like in the morning, so I prepped everything the night before, which made it a lot easier. I brought money with me because I know they were gonna sell concert merch. So the day of the concert, um, we went straight to the venue where the, the cosplay photo wall was, and then we were already wearing our costumes and stuff. We took our picture. So basically, you line up, you take your picture, and then you're holding a number. So our number was like 27. And then after that, you write your information, like your your names. So if there's like two of you, like us, you, you write down your name, and then you write your seat number, and then your um, your phone numbers. So after we did the, the cosplay thing, we actually went to the merchandise booth. The line was pretty long. I mean, it opened at 12:30, and then you know, like a lot of people were all already lined up. And this was the pre-sale, so everything else is like, a, I think, ten dollars off. So like, the shirt would be 25, light stick would be 25 dollars, and I wanted to buy a T-shirt to be honest, but then I'm like, eh, you know, a T-shirt or light stick. I'd rather do light stick. So when we went there, like. We were almost at the booth, and then next thing you know, the guy was like, oh, we're already sold out. So I'm like, oh, bummer. But then what can you do, right? So we just went to the line with everyone else. I don't want you guys to get mad at me for saying this, but I don't understand why people line up so early. Like, you have seat numbers. The only reason I we lined up too is because, like, we have nothing else to do. So it's like, eh, might as well, you know, like, it's the same thing anyways. Well, we were lined up, so we did a cosplay, right? While we were lined up, we I got a call from from the guy that was in charge, and he said, "At 7:30, you guys go to the left side of the stage, and then you wait for the instructions." Because like, I'm not even sure. 
at least an hour after we arrived before we actually got in, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of wish we ate our food because like once we got there like to, to get our ticket scanned, they were actually checking your bags for food and like if you're bringing SLRs. Because they scan, scan your ticket and then like once they check your bags. There's actually another merchandise sale but this part is like it's more expensive so it's more like regular price so we bought like two um, light sticks, one black and one white. So this is the light stick that I bought. Yes! So there's two settings on this. There's this one, it's not focusing, this one, and this one. Yeah. So before that, I actually um, bought this online. Pretty much a light stick headband. That was actually, I think it was like $5, but because I, if I didn't do EMS, it's gonna be really late. Like, it's gonna take me, it's gonna arrive after the concert happened anyway, so I just did an EMS. Went in at around maybe 6, 6.15 and then we just waited at our seats till it's 7.30 so I kept fixing my mustache and you know, all that stuff. So 7.15 we went down because like, I mean, we were seated at like G section which is next to the stairs and it's like right there, left side of the stage. So you know, it's not too bad, we just went down, met with some other cosplayers, either for for an hour or yeah more than that the concert was delayed for an hour it was supposed to start at seven but didn't start till eight but the guy explained to us that oh it's because we were having like sound problems and stuff so i'm like oh okay that's fine we can just wait here he told us we can go back to our seats and wait to be like called down again once the concert starts so actually well <sighs> Because there was so much delay, like they were playing, they played that video compilation thing that K-pop in Hawaii did, and then they, they, they played pretty much like a lot of the music videos by Big Bang, and everyone was like singing, especially when it was like a fantastic baby. Na 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 Fantastic baby! <laughs> we like to party. I love it when they say that there's a new wood know that it's gonna be lit once the concert starts. <laughs> but when they did the first half of the fan meeting, we were down there, still on our costumes. Because most of us are from like the back row, like farther from the stage. We just decided to stay on the side to stand up, which is not too bad. Well, that was happening. Big Bang came out and then we did like the first half of the fan meeting. It was kind of hard for me to see because there was like a big, really big speaker but there was like screens and stuff and you can kind of see the members so I can see like sometimes I would see Hop on the side, I would see Jean Dragon. Oh my god, when they went out, I was like, <laughs> I was like going crazy as shit. They do look exactly uh, like how you see them like on TV or like YouTube or like pictures but like it's like but better when they started musical chairs <laughs> it was funny because like we were so into it especially like when that one moment where Top took the, the chair and then I think it was Taeyang that was like, or Songri, it was one of them. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> they went for it like crazy. The next game they did was Limbo. Oh, that was intense. Like, I didn't expect them to do so well. They sung in um, G Dragon did really well. Like I was like, oh my god, yeah, like, it was crazy because it was so low. But you wouldn't think that he would manage to like do it. G Dragon, it's this. I cannot even do it. Then they did the the game with the fans. <laughs> So the way they chose 
asked the fans to do the game was actually random. So they had a box and then they picked like a piece of paper to remember. And whoever is sitting on that seat that they chose would be partnered up with them. Sungri got a guy. It was so funny because like everyone else was a girl. And then he got a guy and he's like, See, you get dolls related here. They did couples jump rope, which is pretty much they're facing each other and then doing the jump rope. Like, we were, everyone was pretty much rooting for like every single one of them because like, you just want them to, to do, to be able to like jump rope a lot. And then, they sung like on this because like they were so good, like they, they know what they're doing. I think they got like 50 something. So that made him the final winner. Moment of truth, the co the cosplay part. So we were, I guess all of us did, most of us thought that we were going up the stage. That's what I thought at least. I was like, oh my god, am, are we gonna like go up on stage and are they gonna choose us? But <laughs> what happened was, basically, they did a member's vote, so they, sh they showed every single picture us, and then they were supposed to comment on it, but because they were pressed on time, like, because it was so delayed, I'm guessing that I felt like they kind of rushed the cosplay, but it wasn't too bad, but I, I, I kind of wish they did comments on every single picture. Oh, you know, it's not their fault. I just feel like they probably had to rush because they were running late. So he pretty much just commented on the first one, which which was the eventual winner. It happened so fast. Like after that, like after they showed everything, like after each picture, everyone said, "Oh, somebody said, oh, next, okay, next, 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 next." And then I think we were like entering number three or four, if I'm no three. I'm pretty sure. And then. I think four of the members chose number one, and then Sungri chose number four, if I'm not mistaken. And then, so we all thought like after they choose the winner, it's like, oh, okay, we're gonna go up there. Next thing you know, this lady that was one of the staff gave us the t-shirts, which is not too bad now that we got t-shirts. But then next thing she said was, oh, you guys can go back on, the, on your seats. That's it? Oh, that's so sad. Like, I thought I'm gonna see, like, big bang up clothes, you know? I wanted to see how tall they were. I was kind of disappointed about that. Like, I'm happy that we got chosen as finalists, but I think I gave myself too much expectation that I got disappointed by what happened. But, yeah, at least we got t-shirts. Like, this is the t-shirt. It's pretty simple, but it's nice. So it's, it's plain in the front, but the back has like the main logo. Yas! And I think this is the same shirt that they were selling. It's like $35 I think. I love black shirts, so I'm like, collection. I'm happy that they saw, you know, they saw our cosplay, but... Yeah, I just thought we were going on the stage. Until now, kind of sounds like that. But I still, uh, congratulations to all the finalists. I everyone did a great job on the costumes. Honestly, I know that that took a lot of work.